Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the AI spam and what it is doing to destroy the Google search results and destroy a lot of other search related stuff on the internet. It's kind of destroying a lot of what made the internet a great place to begin with. And it's going to get worse, a lot worse over the next couple of years because there's not much that Google can do right now to combat this kind of stuff. And I'm going to go through, so I'll, we'll look at some articles and I'll drop links to everything down below. And then I'll also go through how this stuff works from more of a back-end perspective like what actually goes on behind the scenes when people go do stuff like this to destroy these search results so let's just go ahead and jump right into it there's a couple articles we'll take a quick look at here this first one is from and i've seen this from a bunch of different places this one's from business insider but i've seen this coming from a bunch of different outlets over the past six months about six months now it's using something called seo heisting and i will cover that here pretty soon more like I said, I'll go into how this stuff works on the back end. But basically what's going on here is these, and it's not just scammers, it's spammers, it's people that are just trying to make these clickbait garbage crap stuff and just spam it out everywhere. I'm sure everyone's, you know, you're watching this on YouTube, so I'm guessing most of the people that are using this platform right now are probably seeing these AI generated videos where you click on a video, it's like one or two, three minutes long, and it's got an AI generated voice. Sometimes it even has an AI generated avatar, which those are just some of the most ridiculous looking videos ever. You can tell like it's a fake person. I've seen people try and do tech tutorials about stuff like this, which is funny because I do tech tutorials as well. And I will go click on a video because I'm like, oh, okay, here's whatever topic that it is that I'm trying to learn something about. And it's an AI person explaining it. It's like, well, so you couldn't even take the time and effort. These people that are starting these channels can't take the time and effort to even put in the work to make like a proper video. They script it out with AI. Then they have an AI voice. And then it's like, I just click off of it right away because I'm like, this is a bunch of garbage. The problem is, is that right now, Google does not have a good way to fight this. And it's because of how the existing SEO stuff works. Like they are taking steps to crack down on this. Apparently, from what I heard is Google's apparently taking steps here pretty soon on YouTube. I think they're going to start restricting or require some sort of a disclosure for AI generated content. And my impression is that they are trying to figure out how to build their search engine to filter out garbage like what we're about to talk about, all of this blog spam, AI spam stuff that's uh, destroying the search results that are on Google. Like it says right here, like garbage results are flooding Google. And I've seen a ton of this come up on Reddit threads as well of people that are just, they're like, oh, I'm going to try to search for this or that and I can't find whatever the hell it is because I go to this blog or this article they're like, I can clearly tell that it was written by ChatGPT. And so like on this article here, it says, First 404 Media, a new tech blog, wrote that ad to modify its website because of AI spam. Recently, it noticed that AI written versions of its scoops have shown up on spam sites that are friendly to search engine optimization, or SEO for short. Sometimes even showing up above the real 404 media articles on Google search results. The scammers, of course, are making money, making money by running ads on the AI generated pages. So this right here is what's called an SEO heist. I will cover this in more detail here soon. What happens here is they go find websites that are performing well and they take the articles that are on that website, they paste it in a chat GPT. They say, hey, reword this a little bit, and then they copy paste it on their own website, and that's what's called an SEO heist. They hijack to get up higher on search results with these crappy generic articles. And so 404 is media look into the cottage article theft cottage industry. It says over the last few weeks, Jason has been researching and experimenting with this set of AI tools that spin articles for users. One is called Spin Rewriter, which lets users create 1000 slightly different versions of the same article with a single click and automatically publish them to as many WordPress sites as you want with a paid plugin. It offers a tool that lets users manage as many websites as they want to with single dashboard. The issue that comes up with stuff like this is that so this SEO heisting because when I started hearing about this last year I started doing a look into it because I was like okay well how are people using AI for this and I looked and so like I said they, they're putting this stuff in a GPT but someone that's really efficient with this even if they're doing this stuff like manually so to speak they can pump out like 200 articles and one to 200 articles an hour and spam those across a bunch of different websites and now there's tools that are being made to automate this stuff 
And that's why a lot of people over the last few months are like, hey, I'm noticing all these garbage search results. Because like I said, the Google search engine does, search engine does not yet know how to handle all of this AI spam. So when you have thousands, tens of thousands or millions of these AI generated articles that are popping up that are hitting all of these keywords and doing all of these backlinks is the search engine can't right now really differentiate between legitimately written content and AI written content, which is why you've seen such a massive deterioration of search results over this past year since GBT has become like this big thing. And so like it says here, a company called ByWords gleefully advertises that the SEO heist stole 3.6 million total traffic from a competitor with this one weird trick. So basically what this is, I'm guessing this must have been like 3.6 million clicks per month or something similar to that. Basically what this is, is like I said, so what they're doing is like keyword research and they're using tools, probably something like Ahrefs or Ahrefs or however it's pronounced to take a look for websites and keywords that are performing well. And then they're just going in and hijacking that for their own stuff. And so it's talking about these scam obituary, like obituary pirates. And here's, so here's another thing that's relevant. It says these obits were in response to scammers noticing a spike of search, in search interest around young man's name and around the word subway. These scammers quickly plugged in those key terms, told AI to write an obit in a conversational tone, and then slapped it up on a website. And of course, most of the details were wrong. So I made a couple of AI videos on the channel before. I made one on GPT a little while back. It, there's still a huge problem with these things, hallucinating information, like a lot of it's garbage. And like I do see people, and I've been seeing videos on YouTube of people saying, oh, well, you can just get GPT to write articles for you. And it's like, no, it can't write worth a shit. Like even if you tell it, oh, okay, we'll go ahead and write it in a conversational tone. I can tell you it still puts out like the most garbage content that you could ever think of. Now what makes matters even worse, so I saw this video get covered by Lewis Rossman here probably about a month ago. He was talking about how Amazon has turned into a total garbage dump here, which I mean, it's been going on for a long time. One thing that I would tell people if you wanna buy computer hardware used or new, I don't recommend using Amazon anymore because there's been so much garbage on there and I continue to see Reddit threads come up every now and then. They're not super common for computer hardware, but I have seen it where people have ordered like a CPU or a GPU, sometimes even a motherboard, and they'll post a picture and they'll be like, hey, I got this CPU and it doesn't look right and people are looking at it and they're like, yeah, that's not what you ordered. This is something completely different. Because what they're doing is they're allowing just anyone, what it is, they're allowing this thing called drop shipping. They're allowing these drop shippers to go on there and these drop shippers a lot of times are just, they're the most lazy bum turds that go and pick out like these ultimate shit products to put them on here. I'm sure people have seen like, look at these stupid ass brand names here like Hale Lusty. I mean, there's tons of this ridiculous stuff. They're not even writing their own item descriptions or anything like that. They're just spamming this stuff out. And I mean, this is the kind of stuff that's going on and it's getting worse. And like this right here, so this is some sort of a canopy. And if you read this here, it says enhanced security description. Our product offers advanced security measures to your personal information to ensure an online shopping experience, a safe online shopping experience. Like, what the fuck does that have to do with an outdoors canopy? I could go on a completely separate rant on Amazon just all on and of itself, but there's plenty of examples here of people, like even these dropshippers are going on things like Amazon and running like the Amazon search results. Now like you go and try and find something that's just complete garbage. And I'll also link this article as well. I'm not really gonna go through it, this is more, this is just like some informative reading. This was a Substack letter that was published by one of the authors. I thought this was a pretty good uh, write up that the author did, talking about how things are getting worse for generative AI. It was talking about a little bit about like the New York Times lawsuit that they filed against OpenAI. And then he was also talking about like Dolly and how if you just type in generic. So like he's got a bunch of pictures here with like generic. So droid from classic sci-fi sci movies. And of course it did like all four of these images. You can clearly tell us C-3PO from the original Star Wars movies. An animated sponge. You can clearly tell this is all Spongebob. Like this shit doesn't come up with anything new. It's just going and ripping off other people's work. And I realize there's a whole bunch of arguments being made right now of Oh, well, we don't need artists and all this and that, but 
like I said, that's a conversation for another time. So let's go, what is happening on the back end? Like how does this stuff actually work? So there's a few, a few different things that we're going to take a look at. So like I said, this is all part of SEO or search engine optimization. This has been around for a long time. And it's what anyone that has a website is, and they want to get their stuff ranked on Google, anyone's going to go and do this stuff. It's just that with things like GPT, people are taking the lazy way out. And instead of writing their own content, they're doing this lazy ass garbage of spamming this stuff. Now, at some point I might make a video covering SEO like in really, like a really deep dive on it. You know, one thing that I would tell people is if you're going to go make like a website or something, don't try these black hat techniques. And that's what this AI SEO heisting stuff is, is a black hat technique. I would say within six months, probably no more than a year, Google should hopefully have this figured out and be cracking down on all of this generated garbage. So when you go search on Google again, you can go back to seeing like articles and blogs that were actually written by people instead of just stuff that was spammed out. It's a matter of them figuring out what they need to do on the back end to update the algorithm as far as like being able to detect this stuff. Because that's a big thing all in and of itself is they're trying to figure out. So like the other thing, people might have seen this like universities and places like that are trying to get by by using these things that will say, oh, Oh, well this essay was written by AI or something like that. The problem is is that it's catching stuff that was legitimate, legitimately written. So universities are not using tools like that and they're trying to come up with alternate ways to deal with this stuff for the time being. And Google's the same way. Google doesn't want to penalize someone and destroy legitimate sites in the process of trying to get these garbage websites cleaned off of the internet. So I'll go through what is happening with the SEO side of things. So there's a few things that when people are trying to optimize for SEO, there, there's a few different things that they're doing. These are like the big things. There's a lot more that goes in behind the scenes. Like I said, I'll probably do a big long video on that at some other point. It's gonna go out of the scope of this video, but just to give people an idea of what these people are doing behind the scenes, like how they're coming up with this stuff. So they're doing a few things there, and I'll show you what the, all of this stuff is. So they're trying to figure out what featured snippets they can rip off. So like, here is an example of a featured snippet. So like I Googled how to open group policy. Now you won't see featured snippets for all of your Google search terms. This will only show up some of the time, but like, so like this right here, this little section right here, this is what's called a featured snippet. And so study.com hat right now currently has the featured snippet for how to open group policy. Now what I could do is I could go in here, take a look at this place, take a look at how they've written their article here. And what I could go in and do for my website is write similar content to try to take this over. And there's a few different tactics that I'd use to do it. I figure within a week or two, if I really wanted to, I could probably get this number one spot if I wanted to, but you know, there's obviously gotta be a balance there. Like, is that, would that even be worth my time? What these guys are doing is searching for business intent, which I'll cover that soon. Then the other thing is when they're looking at doing this stuff, they're looking for titles, descriptions, and then the content itself. So what it's doing is looking for keywords. Now, if you use AREFs or HREFs, I think it's pronounced HREFs. It's a search engine optimization tool. So there's a bunch of different keywords. So group policy editor, for example, or just group policy would be an example of a keyword, group policy editor, how to open group policy. These are all examples of different keywords. And in these SEO tools, what you do is you figure out, okay, well, this gets a certain amount of search traffic. So like, I wanna target people that are Googling things like how to open group policy, but I'm not so much interested in what is group policy, something to that effect. So they're targeting titles, descriptions, and content. And so what they'll do is they'll feed this stuff into GPT. So, so these would be examples of titles right here. Typically these are 45 to 60 characters. Then you have your description. Sometimes people write these, sometimes they don't. And sometimes if you do write these, Google will overwrite the description because it thinks that it can come up with something better to uh, be more relevant and show to people. But these are typically 145 to 160 characters long. Then you have the actual content of the article itself. So if I were to click on this How To Geek website here, so what they'll do is they'll come in here. So let's say someone wanted to pull an SEO heist on this article here. So what they do is they come in and copy this 
they would then go paste it in GPT and say, hey, I want you to rewrite this in like your own wording or letters, whatever, change it to be more original or something like that. And then they will go paste that onto a website that they own. Now that's not quite everything that needs to be done. So obviously they do need to get this stuff indexed, meaning they need to get it to show up in Google search. Then to get it up higher in Google search results is they do, they use something called backlinks and they do some networking to do this. And like legit SEO does this as well. It's not just this AI spam, but AI spam will do the same thing. And what, and what they'll do is they'll go look for similar websites and they'll be like, hey, will you put an article to my website on here? And then I'll put your article or your link to like some of your articles on my website. And so they're sharing this stuff back and forth. Now, the reason that this is being so popularly used for scamming people is they're doing it through clicks for searches with business intent. So there's different types of search intent when people are using Google. People will try to, so there might be intent to just try and find out a piece of information like, okay, well, how do I open group policy? Or people might search uh, used iPhone for sale. Now, if someone types in used iPhone for sale, that's an example of business intent search. And so that's an example of someone that's using these kind of tactics is much more likely going to try to heist something like that where they can funnel in thousands or tens of thousands of people, tens of thousands of clicks per month to their, their websites to try to get people to click through and buy whatever it is that they're selling or click on scam links or whatever. I imagine people have probably seen the video that I made, or if you haven't seen it, I made a video a little while back on my channel it was called how to not get scammed what they don't tell you. And in there, I actually covered some specific examples of where people were trying to scam me. Like one of the things I've been seeing a lot is on Twitter, these cryptocurrency turds are going on there and they'll tag people in a tweet and say, oh, you wanted to buy like some Ethereum. Well, go here to, uh, we've opened up a new exchange or something like that. And that's the other thing, like you can do backlinking from your social media page. So that's the other thing they're doing is going and posting stuff on their social media page and finding other scammers to post stuff on their social media pages. Basically, this stuff has turned Google search into a complete garbage dump. And right now the search results are just absolute trash. I'm sure most people have noticed this. And they, they, it's been that way for a while. Like if you were to go search, if you were to go search like top five VPN, and I'm not trying to attack any of these specific websites. I understand that everyone has money that they are trying to make and they're on their own grind. But like, if you click on some of these, like you can tell they, they don't put any effort into this stuff. Like they'll just pick five or six random VPN providers and say, oh yeah, here's a link to it. And then you hover over the link and you can see, oh, okay, well that's an affiliate link. They put in like a one or two crappy paragraph description, but it's not like actually a lot of times it's not like actually even real reviews. It's just generic garbage with an affiliate link and they get listed up near the top because they do SEO. And a lot of times nowadays it's AI generated. So like I said, this stuff is, we probably have about six months to a year before we see Google update their algorithm. When the algorithm change happens, I think you're going to see much better search results. I think we're going to go back to the older days of where, you know, before a couple of, like a year and a half ago, prior where you had articles that were written by people showing up in search results because Google, like the big thing with their search is being able to make money off of it. And if people are leaving because they're like, oh, you know what, these search results are garbage. I'm not gonna use this. I'm gonna figure out a different way to find out the information that I want. Well, that hurts Google's bottom line and they don't want that. So they'll figure out a way to fix this. Like I said, it'll just take like six months to a year. Anyway, that is a quick rundown of what's going on with this stuff and how it works. If you have any questions on any of this, just go ahead and drop a comment down below and let me know. And with all that being said, I will see you in the next video.